I'm Lieutenant Colonel Brian Fanning, the commander of 1st Battalion, 320th Field Artillery Regiment, Top Guns. We kind of anticipate the future fight may be. I think now what we're doing here at Grafenberg Training Area is a perfect opportunity to start to integrate fire support into maneuver. And although the candle effects is really focused on the company level, and then Top Guns brings a, a couple of key weapon systems, the M777 155mm howitzer, and then we also have the M119 105mm howitzer, a little smaller, but uh, also still capable. And then the infantry battalions also have their own organic systems, the mortars, you know, everything from 120mm to 81 to 60s that can, you know, can strike targets from just a few hundred meters away out to about five miles. And so, again, in the FCX scale effects, we're able to, uh, to bring all of these systems to bear and uh, have some pretty devastating effects on the enemy. Top guns and really any uh, cannon artillery design in the Army is pretty unique because we have soldiers that are spread across you know, three or four different MOSs, the Bravos, the Juliets, the Foxes, and the Romeos. Uh, each one of those MOSs has a very uh, prescribed and you know, specific set of artillery tables that they have to accomplish. So we have a pretty rigorous training glide path that we need to get to the, to ensure that, that we're able to integrate those fires into maneuver. And you know, also, too, I would, I would also say that um, you know, when you talk about the integration of fires into maneuver, uh, there's really kind of three key aspects of that, and that's kind of the understanding the science behind it, understanding the technology behind integration, and then also uh, the art of it too, right? Kind of get a real solid grasp of the, 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 the science, the technology, and the art. I think that's when you really get to have some effective fire sport.